Hi there, this is Mrs McTaggart and in this video we're going to look at adding and subtracting thirds. Now technically this still all comes under simplifying thirds but I'm breaking it all up and we're focusing on the adding and subtracting styles. So adding and subtracting thirds is a wee bit similar to in algebra. In algebra you can only gather up like terms, like you can't add x's and y's together but you can add an x plus a 4x plus a 3x. Thirds are very, very similar. You can only add together like thirds. So my two very quick examples are these thirds match. So there I've got a 4 root 2 plus a 6 root 2. They're both in terms of a root 2. So you essentially just add the numbers in front. 4 add 6 is 10. So that would be 10 root 2. And similarly in this one, they are both thirds of root 23. So you just do the numbers in front. 16 take away 7 is a 9. So that would be 9 root 23. So we are looking to get thirds of the similar um, term. Now they're not presented like this. This is how they appear in the exam. So my first one is root 72 plus 5 root 2. And I've said that there's a clue here. 9 times out of 10 when I've seen these in an exam... One of them has already been fully simplified and that's your clue that you're trying to get the, the, the other one or the other two sometimes to be in the form root 2 as well. So root 72, remember I've already discussed this one in a previous video, automatic thought is to jump in there and use 9 and 8 but watch there is a bigger one. Always look for the biggest possible third you can. Okay, 72 is actually a product of 36 and 2. There's that 2 to match the 5 root 2. So I'm going to write root 72 as root 36 root 2 plus 5 root 2. Now that then just gives me 6 root 2 because the root 36 is 6 plus 5 root 2. And they are both now in the form of thirds with a root 2 in it. We can add the numbers in front. 6 add 5 is 11 root 2. And that is our final answer there. The second one, there isn't a clue for this one, so we just have to play about. Now, I would start with the 27 first maybe and go, right, well, 27 is root 9 root 3. So the other one's possibly going to have a 3 in it, because again, remember that 4 to 8. You might want to use 4 and 12 and then there would be nothing matching with the other one. Root 4 to 8 is your 16 and 3. And then I've got both with a, a, a third of root 3 in it. So 16 becomes 4 root 3 and that becomes 3 root 3. And altogether that is just 1 root 3. But remember, actually seeing the exam, this is a big no-no. It should be left as root 3. There has been instances, I'm sure, in the past where they've marked you down for the, not having it fully simplified and having a 1 in front doesn't count as fully simplified. So it's just root 3. Um, let's have a look at these two. So question 3. Again, I've got a number in front of the 20. I don't have a clue in this one. But we do know 20 is a product of 4 and 5. So root 4, root 5. Now, 80 can be split up as 4 and 20, but there is a bigger one. This is not an obvious bigger one. It's 16 and 5, right? Now, I know the 20 wouldn't have worked because I've already got a 20 over there. And in fact, there are other ways around this, and I'll maybe show you another way around this one in a second. But 80 is actually 16 and 5. Now, you need to watch out for that 16 times table when it comes to thirds. It is a wee bit sneaky. So, the square root of 4 is 2. It's being multiplied by a 2 in front. So I have got 2 times 2 root 5 there, which is 4 root 5. So just to explain where that came from again, the square root of 4 is just 2. And then that 2 times 2 gives me the 4. And then 16 is um, 4. So I've got 4 root 5 again. And in actual fact, this one just becomes 0. Cancel each other out. Okay, and my last example, I've got three terms in it. Now, looking wrong, I've got a 24, I've got a 6, and I've got a 54, all as my thirds. This one here is my clue, the middle one, because it's already fully simplified. It's got a root of 6, so that's telling me the rest all probably are a product of something in 6. 
So the square root of 24 is 4 and 6. Leave that one alone. I can't do anything with it. And then 54 would be 9 and 6. So then my simplifying part, the square root of 4 is 2. So I've got 2 root of 6 plus 2 root of 6. Square root of 9 is 3. Times the 3 in the front is 9. So I have 2 plus 2 is 4. Minus 9 is 5. So I have negative 5 root 6. So that's my examples there of simplifying. Hopefully this has helped and thanks for watching.